What's up everybody, Let's Sexy Monkey here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a burglary, uh, burglary or alarm system in Minecraft. So it's going to look a little something like this and uh, you can see when you step through this chirp wire it's going to set off these note blocks. So you know when a mob walks through your trap and you know a mob is nearby. And uh, this is my design. I actually uh, I designed this, took me about maybe 15 minutes the most all right so oh, let me just set the time here let me just walk through and I'll show you so as you can hear hopefully let me just turn my sounds up a little bit they're going off and that's how you know when someone's there and when you want it to turn off you just press this button so let me show you how this works and I'll show you how to build it. So first thing you're going to need is something to build with. I'll just use grass. Uh, you're going to need a redstone repeater, redstone, redstone torch, sticky piston, note block, trip wire, uh, string, and that's it, I believe. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a memory cell. And a memory cell holds information in one redstone line in a... It's kind of hard to explain. I'll show you. So first, you're just going to place down a block, and you're going to go like this. So you're going to go out two, over one, and then the one next to this one, just put a block so it forms like a little L-type shape. And uh, let me just turn my sounds even more down here. Then place your torches like this. Next, you're just going to connect all your torches like that, so you can see. Once this torch is powered, it goes into here, which turns this torch off. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to take out this uh, off redstone line. And we're going to hook it up to some chirp wire. Fun, fun. And uh, let me just do this. And that's good. So now if I walk through this you can see that it turns this line on which turns on that repeater and it turns this line off which is what a memory cell is so once like you say if you had uh, instead of a tripwire here say you had like a button for example and if I placed a button there well actually hold on let me just do this okay so if I had a button here while it was off and I pressed it the button would keep it on because it would turn off this torch which is powering into this block and it would allow that torch to potentially stay on. So I'm just going to run over here and I'm going to press it and that's what happens. But obviously I'm not going to be using a button today, I'm just going to be using regular old trip wire. So what you want to do from there is go where uh, this redstone kind of turns a little bit just build out one put a block put a redstone torch and put a sticky piston next to it just like so connect a block to it and you want to make sure this line is off and the way you can do that is to connect the off power line to a um, just a button so when I press the button it's gonna turn off the piston pretty much and when I step to the trip wire, it's going to turn on the piston. And that's what we're going to be using. So while the piston's off, put a repeater right behind it like so. And then right in front of it, put a note block. And I'll get to the you know tuning of those in a minute here. But next, uh, set this to three ticks. Third setting. And the block diagonal from it, place a torch. I mean, place a block, then place a torch right next to it so it's powering the repeater. And then you're going to just take some redstone and just line it up like that. And then you're going to go right here on the opposite side of this repeater facing th this way. You're just going to place a redstone repeater, set it to the second tick, and then another note block. So this note block is going to be set at 19, 18. So hold on. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
Yeah, 18. All right, so that's 18, the one on the left, the one with less number of ticks, and this one's 15, so... So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. So, what is basically going to be happening here is when you walk through here, it's going to turn on this line, uh, which is going to turn off this line, which is going to turn on this torch, which is going to power this piston, which is going to push this block into this repeater, allowing power to go through this block and connect to the note block. And it's going to, this is a clock, by the way. This is just a simple redstone clock. So now, I'm going to walk through the chip wire, and we'll watch what happens. Let's see? Basically it. Then when I want to turn it off, I press the button, and it does that. So that's basically it, guys. Um, you can use this for a really good burglary alarm system for your house or whatever. And, um, yeah. You can see I built, like, a little more complex version thing over here. Just had the tripwire in here, and I, I placed a mob in here. I believe I just placed a villager. To see if... Yeah, see? When he goes in it, he sets it off. And I'm just like, ugh. So, yeah, guys. That was... I don't know why I even said anything like that. That was just completely random. But... Oh, get out of the tripwire, you dick! Thank you. Okay, so anyway, that's basically it, guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. So thank you guys so much for watching, and the villager just walked through the tripwire again. So, peace.